my name is Robin Lombardia. I guess I'm the creator and the director of the Market Film Festival and a producer, film producer. I started coming out here in 2002 and then I moved here in 2007. Marfa is interesting in that it's kind of an island and some people come and they stay and then there's some people who come and they're just here for like six months, you know, and so like it's, there's not a lot of distraction so they kind of have to face themselves. I think for artists it's magnificent. I think actually what draws the artists here is like the sky, the light, the colors out here. It's really phenomenal how many people are coming through here and are new just in the last two years. I mean, I think part of the struggle of being an artist in West Texas or just being in West Texas is making a living, so I think a lot of, maybe if you don't come for money or you, you know, you're you know not established, that you have to work at several jobs. So I think that a lot of people here do manage to balance though, but you'll see, I mean, people joke about it being like Oz where like you go to the post office or you go to the food shark and someone's working there and then you go later to like the coffee shop and they're working there and then you go later and they're having an art show and it's like, that's kind of how everyone around here. Um, I think that a lot of the people who are coming from the outside, they kind of pop up. I mean, I say outside, I think it should be noted that most of a lot of this community is from other places. I mean, we get a lot of super young kids from Austin. We get couples on road trips. We get German or Japanese artists who like this is like their life dream. They've like wanted to come to Mar for their whole lives. Really, all kinds of people. We also get you know older folks who are retired in RVs and bikers, and and I'm all for that. Like balancing this out and making it just like a an enclave for everybody, like an oasis that you don't have to just be a young hipster to come enjoy, you know? That we're so isolated, it's definitely one of the most interesting things about it. At the same time, it's one of the most social places I've ever been, so if you're looking for something to do, maybe not every night, but there's usually something going on, you know? It's really interesting considering how tiny. The Hispanic culture, I mean, I just think that they're the bones and blood of this town. I mean, there wouldn't be anything, we wouldn't, there would be no nothing. I think that's important and I don't think people think of it as a Mexican town, and it is. Clearly we want this place to keep where it is because without art and without music and all everything that's going on it would I mean we live on tourism. So I think it's how do we grow and how do we respect and it's about like respecting the land and I just you know how do we invite people here and clearly there's not room for tons of people to move here. And I wish I wish we just get like I mean we don't have a we don't have a pharmacy. So like with all this art we don't have a pharmacy. We need stuff like X ray machines and like more ambulances and you know like there's like some really important things that I think are lacking here in terms of just being a normal town. I hope that with all this money and all this art that people start getting back to that stuff, like the really important stuff, you know, this is all fun and it's wonderful and it's important, but the community needs to be enriched alongside that. It's just, there's just something really magical about this place, you know, like for me beyond the art that it's, and I, and I think it's all of West Texas, but like Marfa sits in the center of all this. I mean, every, in every direction there's gorgeous landscapes, so I think that coming here people get to experience that. It's just inspiring.